Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration where I am doing science. Yes, I've got the purple science, the uh, energy science up and running to an, well, to a certain extent now. And it's, yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, as you can see, these machines are building up the, um, the what are they called, the, the, the energy catalogues. I was talking about this in the end of the um, the previous episode, where I had this sort of I got about the, about this far, um, but then run into a few sort of issues like needing laser cannons to um, laser turrets to build this, and just and just generally needing the raw materials in general. So as you can see along here, we've got we're running through all the processes required for energy science. We've got the um, in fact let's let's open this up so I can I can show the show it a bit better from here. So we, we've got the various different types of um, data that are required to make energy science modules. Uh, over here we're making the, um, the plasma that's then uh, used to ionize the copper and we feed plasma down here into this machine that will then turn it into um, the electromagnetic field data and we're turning circuits and the various different um, metal boards, the uh, uh, what do we call it, um, holmium and copper in, into the uh, con conductivity ones over here we've got the radiation si uh, science being made by combining uh, uranium um, with, well, running uranium through this machine and then collecting data from it. And then finally the electromagnetic one, which is, um, electromagnetic, I don't think I mean that. I mean, no, I mean polarization, uh, which is cre created by running, by using the mirrors and doing something with them and again with the memory cards. So those are all being fed over here to these these two computers, which are turning them in, which are putting them all together, analysing them and turning them into the, um, the, into the energy catalogues that are then going off down this belt. Now, this is working quite well, except we seem to be short of um, of this one. This seems to be the uh, limiting factor at the moment. So I'm going to need to take a look into into why that's um, why that's causing problems and what the what the actual limit on that one is. So let's see when this finishes. Yeah, it's then stopped. This machine's running. This machine. These these machines are both running. So I suspect it's probably down to this plasma generator at the beginning. So I think I'm going to need to put in a couple more of those above it to feed down into the same same pipe system and allow me to have enough for this um, for this uh, for this um, particle accelerator to run constantly. And once I've done that, then these all run at the same speed. I think so that should then Im improve things a little bit. So those are being fed along this belt here. As I was talking about in the previous episode, I've then exp had a new bus for the science production itself going up this way. So we've got the blue ones, the um, astronomic science um, catalogues being produced at a reasonable rate here as well. They're all tra both types are traveling up here. We're then using this machine to convert the catalogues into insight, not in what are these things called? Yeah, they are insights. So catalogues into insights, that's the cubes into the, into the cylinders. And then this belt here takes both of them <clears throat> up a little bit further to, to here where some of the insights are split off to be turned into significant data. And then up here where all of them are combined in order to get the um, the astronomic science packs out. We're also doing exactly the same with the purple ones. They're being fed into here where we're making the um, uh, making significant data as well from the purple ones. And then feeding them up here where this machine is making energy science out of, again, both, both, both of the two insights significant data here and a holmium um, plates as well so one of the things I need to, one of the things I want to do is this research up here and this one allows me as I think I've been talking about in the previous episode to start making the um, the significant data from a combination of both of the types of insights and that makes it a bit more efficient because the previous um, the normal ways of doing it that we're doing down here these take in 36 of one type of insight and produce four significant data. The new one will take in 36 of both insight, well, 18 of each for a total of 36, and then produce six significant data. So it's going to be 50% more um, more efficient. So we're going to get a lot more um, a lot more data out per um, per input. So that's definitely very worth doing. But it does require me to have done this research, which requires me to have made some of the pink science packs. So there's a bit of a chicken and egg situation here. Um, However, I do have the significant data that's being produced from here, being fed up here, and therefore, and therefore, we should be making the purple science packs. As usual, I've got my um, disposal belt here uh, running down from both of these. It's taking out all of the junk data cards and um, any non-junk data cards as well that are produced by. I think it's this step produces the non-junk ones. 
they run down. Yeah, there's some non-junk ones. Uh, they they run down the belt here, get dropped onto um onto this belt, where they're taken back round to be recycled. We've also got this this other belt here, that's taking down. And in fact, these two belts. Yes, both of these two belts that are taking down the new science packs. And the reason I've got separate ones for blue and purple rather than having them on the same belt, is because then the blue ones are getting fed onto here and then eventually mixed onto the same belt as the rocket science packs. So there wasn't room on there for the purple ones as well. The purple ones, however, are now coming down this bottom belt, fed all the way down here and up here, and should be being loaded into these, this, um, this, what do you call it, uh, research lab over here. But it doesn't, they don't seem to be, even though there's at least one there and and that long-handled inserter should be grabbing from there and putting them into there. So I don't know why that's not working. And nor's that one. So they're all just building up here for some reason. Now, I don't know why they're not being loaded in, because there's a space for them there. This science pack requires them. So they should be being put in there, but I don't know why they're not. That inserter should be more than capable of grabbing from that splitter. Hmm. So as you can see, because I've now got to the point where I've got more than eight science packs, I've had to put in this thing in order to... Let's, let's try putting that there and that there. Oh, no, I know why it's not working. Though that isn't actually a red inserter. That's a red inserter ghost, because there aren't any. So, if I... I do have some in my inventory, I believe. I hope, yes, I've got 47. So if I fly over there now... I can go over and fix that, and then my research should, should kick in and start actually working, which would be nice. So if we come to here, yep, there we go. There go the bots, placing them all down. So the problem was, there aren't any red inserters in the logistics network up here. But now, there we go, they're loading them in. Oh, that was really quick. Okay, that, that, was, um, <laughs> that was much, much faster than I expected it to be, so I'm really happy with that. That means I can... Now, the important thing of that is it means I can come back over here... And I can set these to use the mixing recipe, like that. And that means that they will now both become enormously more efficient. Let's give that all of those. Um, is that enough? Should should be. Is there no thermofluid? No, there is. There's no output for thermofluid on this one, idiot. <laughs> How did I miss that? Okay, let's put in some, um... Oh no, that's that's feeding it over to... How much have I messed this up? Okay, so that's... Oh no, that is unload... That, is, that, one, is, that one is working. This one should be working as well. So it's a shortage of the input thermofluid, which is the... Have I got the wrong one? Oh, it's su it needs super cooled, not just cooled. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's an extra complication for this then. I'm going to have to have a think about that and work out what the best way to... And Well, I'm going to have to find out how to get supercooled thermofluid for one thing. Um, hello, how do I make... Why is thermofluid not in the um, list of things that I can do? This one, this is the new one. So I, need, I just need hypercoolers again, um, which I've got, um, and it takes cold and makes super cooled. That just seems fairly standard for the way these things go. Okay, that's not going to be too difficult. I could probably squeeze it in here, although I don't think I really want to, because it's probably going to be just as big as this one. Um, and I want to be able to use this, I want to have this space to expand into as I produce more science packs. So I'm going to need more belts coming down here. Um, so I'll probably put that in... Maybe above this, going up here, that, that, that'll work reasonably well. I'll just have another set of those. Um, to make, yeah, to make the even colder thermofluid and then just stick another pipe in on the body. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll fit in. I, I can do that. That's not a problem. Okay, so that's that's how science is going at the moment. And I'm quite pleased with that because it's all, it's all come together quite neatly and is generally working. Um, there is a slight problem I'm having. I was going to say I'm having a problem with copper supply at the moment, but actually that seems to have caught up now. That's 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 great because that was being used heavily for the um, this thermofluid production. Um, 
Let's try looking at it properly. Thermofluid production was, yeah, is over here. So the copper was being used very heavily for that, but the salt, now, now it's, now it's a shortage of sulfur for it. So that's why it's caught up, because something else has run out. Great. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to have a think about that, because that, this area up here is doing, that's doing the coal liquefaction is, yeah, it, it, it's, not, it's not ideal. The other thing that's possibly a bottleneck at the moment is producing the uh, the memory cards, which is being done, a uh, memory stick, which is being done here. How does this look? Yeah, we need a lot more on here. So where's my bottleneck with the memory sticks? Because the, sub the substrates are being, well, they're being produced at a reasonable rate, but it could be faster. I don't think there's an actual input problem there. I think it's just the rate that the things are being made at. <coughs> it didn't help that this one was destroyed by a meteor. Um, and I've not built another one. What, what are these? These are decontamination facilities. What do they take to make? None of that looks difficult. I don't know why I haven't got another one. Let's let's just. Um, I mean, I haven't got any of the stuff to actually make one myself, and they're made in a space manu manufactory. Um, but. Most of that looks manageable. I don't know how many motors I've got. Okay, so that's something else to look into. To try and speed that up a little bit. Um, otherwise, I mean, that's that's as far as I've got up here, I think. Oh, I did put in a, um, a little thing down here for processing the holmium. Uh, so we've got the, um, <clears throat> the, the ingots being delivered by delivery cannon capsule to here. And then brought down here by... Um, by the by the uh, logistics bot, so that that again is working fine. Um, I'm, I'm happy with that, and that's being fed off to the uh, to be turned into science packs as you saw earlier. So this is all generally working. Um, my concern is now that I'm going to run out of the purple science. In fact, I'm going to run out of science in general because I need to set up all of the extra coolers. So that's going to be my next thing. Now I did a couple of things on Norvis as well. So I talked about the um, the problem with the. The, new, the electric motor recipe change last in the last episode, so that's why I've got all of these sort of funny things with these uh, these long inserters just passing cogs across over a long distance because I've just pulled out a machine in there that was making the, the the basic motors, and that's now working everywhere except yellow science. Yeah, yellow science because there's this whole system here of producing engines. It's all wrong. Basically, I need to rip out, pull up all of these blue electric motors from here. I think. Oh no, sorry, no, all of the single cylinder motors from here and get steel onto the other side of this bus. Then I can throw away all of this stuff along here that's making the um, the big engines because those aren't required for elect big electric motors anymore. And that sort of makes sense. There's no point in making a big V8 engine if you're trying to make an electric engine. I'm pretretty sure that's not how Tesla make their cars. So <laughs> having get it, and I'm pretty sure you don't make an electric motor out of a single cylinder um, piston, uh, piston motor as well. So. Those changes make sense from an engineering point of view. They're just a little bit of a faff from a, you know, playing the game point of view. <laughs> um, I, I did launch another rocket up. That's how I got the um, the laser turrets up there. And now I've got the same sort. I've got the um, system down here. I wonder what's in this one. Yeah, there's not a huge amount in this one yet. I do. I think I might start bringing sulfur up by um, by delivery cannon or by rocket. And then. Up here, did I put in a? Yeah, I put in another delivery cannon up here for the holmium. Uh, that's it works exactly as you'd expect, and all these are firing away happily. I took the easy way out with the uranium, though. I I redirected this ura this uranium cannon manually and told it to fire at um, fire at Norvis orbital thing instead, um, and then short and then shorted out the um, like this to so that, that will carry on loading without without the signal. And so that so that made sure I had enough uranium to get it started. Next time I go down to Norvis, I will put in another one down here with another um, receiver dish and get so I don't need to don't need to do that manually. But that's that's a late a project for a little bit later, I think. Um, otherwise, oh yes, there was another thing. I had another um, another comment on my on on the videos, and I need to do the math slightly more uh, precisely for this one. But this this was in response to my um, earlier discussion of whether it's cheaper to send stuff up by rocket or by um, or by delivery cannon capsule. And he pointed out that my maths was whilst whilst, whilst my maths was was generally accurate, and it is cheaper if to use a delivery cannon than to throw away a rocket. When you launch a rocket, you actually get some of the parts back. Um, I'll see if I can find the numbers. Cargo rockets. Here we go. So, car that that loss percentage, I believe, is only when the rocket crashes. 
Um, how, right, so rocket reusability is 20. Uh, okay, is, is it now, it's currently at 28%. So actually, the, producing a rocket is 28% cheaper than I was suggesting. Because every time you launch a rocket, you get some of your rocket parts will, will end up in the in the receiver with everything with all of the stuff you've brought up and that's why I've got this system here that will then request all of those stack them up and then in here I've got six of them and in here I've got another five of them um, let's see if that let's see if those numbers add up um, so each of those is five so five and six is 25 and 30 yeah so that's about that's about the 28 percent so I'm getting so it seems like the 28% return rate on that is is pretty accurate for what I'm um, what I'm getting back. So I need to check. I need to crunch those numbers again and see whether uh, see whether if I reduce the cost of the rocket by 28%, does that actually make it cheaper than using the um, using the delivery cannons? And there are a couple of other elements in that as well. So one of the things I'm doing with delivery cannons is bringing coal up here that I'm then liquefying um, here and turning into the, the three types of oil. Now that's great. That's I reckon. I still believe that's going to be the best way to bring oil up here. It's going to be. It's going to be much, much better than doing it by um, uh, by bringing barrels up in a rocket. However, there's also the sulphur, and so I'll need to have a look into how much sulphur, how much petroleum gas is taken to make sulphur. Thirty. Thirty to make two. And when you liquefy coal, I, I'm going to need to do the maths because it goes it goes through it goes through several steps to make the um, to make it. So I'm going to need to do the find out how much petroleum gas you get from coal liquefaction and full process, full uh, cracking, uh, compared to how much and how much you get from sulphur. That requires water as well, which comes up as ice. Uh, so I reckon I'm probably going to be better. I'm probably going to want to start bringing sulphur up by delivery cannon, which I think I can do. I don't know. I don't know if I can check that from here. Um, so I can probably bring sulphur up by delivery cannon. But also, it's things like circuits. I was thinking, well, I could start making the circuits up here, but that's going to be much less efficient because it's, it takes what it's going to be about. Um, I can't remember what they, exactly what they all stack to, but it takes it takes a certain amount of stone and it takes a certain amount of copper to make basic circuits, and then that plus plastic and more copper to make the um, the red circuits. And then even more so for the blue ones. So those are probably going to be worth bringing up by copper. Somebody else pointed out you can make these substrates to up to... I forget which level it is. I think it's you can make... Let's look, So let's check. Substrates, are they in here? Here we go. So the rough data substrates can be made on, on the ground. And they take two glass and four iron so that's probably well depending on how high they stack that's almost certainly going to be significantly more efficient to bring them up in the rocket um, so I'm, maybe I'll start making enormous numbers of those on the ground and then polishing them has to be done in space by the looks of it that requires a decontamination facility and you can't have them on the ground so I think I'm going to need to bring yeah I'm going to if I start bringing those up by rocket as well that's that's something else to put in the rocket as well which will help fill it up and make it more worthwhile to bring it up I'm already bringing science up by rocket so that's that's something that's already fairly chunky otherwise I think that's everything that's a consideration um, because everything else that I'm making up here has to be made up here so I think yeah, I'll take a look into I'll, I'll take a look into having a delivery cannon for sulphur because I think that's going to make things a lot more efficient, especially as I'm getting through a lot of it making this um, coolant, uh, the therm thermofluid. And I'm going to have a th good think about bringing what was the other thing? Circuits were obvious. Oh yeah, the substrates up. I think that's probably worth doing as well. Um, but I mean, at the moment, the factory is ticking over. Everything is a turn. At a, at, it is being being brought up at at a manageable rate. The coal is where is the coal? Here it is. Oh, there's no coal. Okay, there's a bit of coal. Coal is at a shortage. Maybe I need, maybe I need to start bringing coal up by rocket just because I can bring up a huge amount of it very very quickly. Why isn't the? Let's have a look and see why the um, the coal delivery cannon isn't firing fast enough. No real reason. It's just just the rate it can be loaded at, and we're using it up too quickly. I could get around that by putting in a second one. I don't know. Anyway, 
I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, I haven't had any whiskey this time. This is actually sober rambling, so I can't use that as an excuse. <laughs> um, so I should do the maths before the next episode and report back, and we'll see how see see what's how it's going. I will probably have put in an additional delivery cannon along here somewhere that's going to be doing the um, going to be doing the sulfur, and maybe I'll put in some sort of factory system to build up those. Um, substrate pieces and we'll uh, and we'll get everything running a bit more efficiently through that well thanks for watching uh, this has been an episode of science and rambling and trying to work out how to do logistics more efficiently <laughs> uh, next time it'll be the logistics and maybe I'll have had a look into the biological sciences as well we'll see how that goes when I'll have a think about all of the extra stuff I need because that's going to be a complicated one thanks for watching I'll see you then